Aw, oh, one of my favorite summer dresses. I added some pom-poms last year to add a little length to it, but it seems to have shrunk again. So, now I have a new solution to add some length. I'll show you what it is. Coming up. Hey, it's Chanel here bringing you weekly videos to help you get better and better with your fashion sewing. So be sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you never miss out on a new video. So, this is one of my favorite little dresses I bought a couple summers ago. I found it in a grocery store. <laughs> what grocery store was that in? I, um, there were several of them there. I bought my friends some of them too. Um, and they, they were just like 15 bucks. And I just thought they were so cute. Just the print was really cute. And they had one um, in red that I also bought that uh, I did something with it. Oh, it's still in my closet maybe, huh? Anyway, um, I'll, have to, I'll have to do the same thing to this one because the red one shrunk even more than this one. It started out shorter. But this one, the first year, seemed to be fine. Um, it was a little bit above my kneecaps. And then I added some pom-poms to make it just a tad longer and it was fun. So I thought, wow, pom-poms are fun. <laughs> but um, I put it on this summer and it was really short. It's like this much above my kneecaps. It's just a little too short for somebody over 50. So it's like, I don't know. You know, it's a kid, it's a kid outfit, but I like the print on it. It makes me happy. If it makes you happy, you wear it. Anyway, but um, so this year I thought I was gonna just chop it off make a skirt out of it. But I've done that to a lot of my pieces and I really like the whole dress and I put it on and it still fits. So I thought, what can I do to this? I was looking in the mirror like, what can I do? Hmm. So I came up with the idea, that's why my pins are here. I'm gonna make this, I'm gonna put a black knit. I got, and I actually have the perfect black knit. I just have this little scrap right here. I'm gonna put a black knit piece right here. Sort of like it'll look like an ampere dress. So it'll be a black solid around it right in here. And um, yeah, the blacks are pretty close to it too. I could go crazy and put like white binding, like a piping in there, but I'm just gonna add that there. And then, um, yeah, just maybe um, a three to four inch strip in there. And um, it'll bring the hem down and uh, I'll get to wear it. So <laughs> yeah, it's worth a try. And if it doesn't work, then I have the black band here and then I can turn it into a skirt. So. It, um, it's a win-win. Some, somehow this is going to get worn this summer. <laughs> so what I got to do is I put pins like where, um, like on pier part, where it would fit good um, right here. Now the back, I kind of was putting the pin back here. It's always up a little bit higher. So sometimes you have to kind of cut a little bit higher. They, um, the bust and stuff picks up more fabric. So um, you don't want it to kind of slant down to the side. So I'm just going to blend that out. And then I'm going to add, um, or I'm just going to cut it. And then I can't add seam allowance to it because it's just going to be cut in the middle. But what I'll do is I have to add in the seam allowance extra to this. I marked all this somewhere. Where to go? There's some marks here. Yeah. So I put some uh, chalk marks here. I figure um, I'm going to just do a small, like three eighths inch seam allowance, a quarter inch, a little too small for a knit, kind of will curl and stuff. So I'll do a three eighths which is, you know, almost a half. <laughs> and, um, and then I'm gonna do, um, so I actually marked a half inch seam allowance here. Because when I do, when you cut it here, you have a half inch, you just cut it here. And this is gonna go half inch shorter and a half inch shorter on that side. So I'm gonna lose an inch just from cutting it because I have to sew in the band. So I'm good, that, that inch that I'm gonna lose there, I'm gonna add it back into here. So my band, if I wanted it a three inch band, I'm gonna have the band four inches plus seam allowance on each one of these. So um, I'm just going to do like a half an inch, but I'm going to sew it three eighths. That's probably really confusing, <laughs> but just follow me here. So okay, first I have to get the uh, marks centered. What I'm going to do is take it from the shoulder line right here. It looks like it's right about 15 and an eighth there. Then I'll look at this one and like right where the seam is actually. This one's at 15, 15 and an eighth also. Wow, got that right on there, that's crazy. Okay, so 15 and an eighth, and then this one is 15 and an eighth, right in the white spot there. Okay, turn it this way. This 
So at least get that. So first off, just getting this balanced is tricky. I get these two here. Get that started. And then I want to measure off the underarm. Should go a little bit. Let's kind of double check it. Uh, seven. And ooh, see it went off. But did yeah, see six and a half. So this one's double check this one. Right there. Six and three quarters is actually where that's at. And then I'm gonna hopefully six and three quarters is here. So I wonder if it went down a little bit. Yeah, so now I'm gonna make it look that way. And then I'm gonna put pins here, right in the center front, and then flip it around this side. And this is where my back was here. The other mark is here. So what I'm gonna do is take it from the side and it's not everything's really square in sewing world. And I'm gonna um, find the center back here. It's about here. Maybe come up. I'm gonna go up that and then come back. I think that might work. And then bring it back down to that side. So I think I'll shave it that way. And then there's gonna be a band right there because my bust was taking up more of all of that. So now I have to cut this. That's the hard part. <laughs> but the good thing is if I make a mistake on it, I can still save it. It'll become oops, first cut. Sometimes you just gotta get in there and do it. I'm gonna cut this apart. The other thing I might wanna do is actually put some notches right here. Also to tell me where the front is at, so I do those two. And then I'll do um, back ones. I'll do double notches in the back right here. So I know where, I mean, it's gonna be a band and they'll be kind of uh, hard to, match up because there's four it will be four inches in the middle but this will tell me the front and the back because actually when you take this apart which one will be the front which one will be the back i'm going to cut there sometimes you can't think about it you just got to cut it but then again you can't just cut because you know you gotta think about it <laughs> Boy, that is tough. Sometimes you can't think about it, but then you gotta think about it. Okay, so I'm these separated. Okay. Now, what I'll do here is I'll add, you got a little crop top. <laughs> That's not gonna go well. And then, now I gotta find the right side of this. That's tricky to knit sometimes. This one's got a gloss to it, so I'm going to go with that one. Right sides together. I'm going to sew. I'll be pinning this first. I'm going to get some pins. And then there's going to be a side seam here, but I don't want the, the selvages right here, so I'm going to make sure the side seam starts about there. And then um, I could just sew this in a loop and not undo this, or I could actually, yeah. I'll just what I'm going to do is put that mark right here, but I'm not going to. I'm going to start sewing here. So when I get around it, then I'm going to um, sew this that seam together. And then I'm just going to pin. Right now, I just cut that strip off here. Pin this around. Like that, and then I'll go sew this in my either a about three eighths. Do the width of the presser foot, which I always call a healthy three eighths, which or healthy quarter inch, and then it's usually about three eighths. It's just an eighth of an inch different. Okay, so I'll go around here. That. So glad the knit fabrics come wider. All right there. And then right here, I know that I'm going to probably be sewing this seam together right here.
but I don't do that till last because um, sometimes this one might stretch out too much. And I think I'm going to sew this in a with a stretch stitch too. Um, most machines nowadays come with stretch stitches, and the problem with stretch stitches are you can't really make a mistake because um, they sew over itself. So I'm going to add a little extension here and just cut this straight, get that off of there. And I'm going to go and sew this about right there. That's about three eighths, nice even line. Okay, I put this on the stretch stitch. Uh, number two right here and I added the length so the default on a stretch stitch is 2.5 but I'm going to make it a little bit longer I'm just going to follow the edge of this presser foot which is actually kind of a half an inch it's kind of a lot down to see how I can I have to turn this on yeah <laughs> oh, wrong foot pedal. stretch stitch goes front, back, front, front, back, front, and it like stitches over itself. It gives a little bit of extra security. Actually what I'm doing is I'm following this line here, right at the edge of that, making sure my raw edges are really even. So it slip. I'm just going to go around it like this. Check it. Yep, nice seam right there. So far, so good. Okay, coming into this end, I'm actually going to pick this up and then I'm going to sew this seam together right about right at that edge. Make sure this is like right there. Wow, and it came together pretty good. So now i got to sew that seam, but look at my strip was off. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I'm going to have to even that out. Somehow my marking or cutting got wrong. And I'm going to stretch stitch this too. Just open the seam up right here. I want to had the selvage edge there. I'll just leave a big seam. Won't hurt anything. And now I got to close up the seam here. If I can see where I started out of there. Stretch stitches. You don't have to reverse. Okay. Connect this together. No, you just automatically do. <laughs> okay. Got the first band on. Ah, strings. Okay, there's that. Ta da! Now I have to add the skirt part to this. Okay, I have this ready to go. I think um, this side was shorter, and um, I'm just going to have to blend it so my seam right here will probably be right about there when I get to that part. Um, so next I want to also find where my side seam is lining up. So I'll make a mark right there. I could even just make a little V, a real tiny one. So I'm going to mark, match up my side seam. And then I got the front here. So I'm going to get the front to the skirt here. So that matters because I have the back that way. And then um, now I'm going to turn this right side here. Actually what I should do too, I'll try and get these notches right about here. And I know these notches should fit right there. And I turn them this way. Like that. Find the notches there. And, and there's over there we go. Close enough. There's, they're not exactly accurate because it was, you know, a garment or in made. Then my side seam is here, and then my side seam's there. Okay, now I'm going to take this sewing machine and sew around that part with a stretch stitch. Okay, there's how it looks 
on the inside. Got a nice band right there. Could overlock these to finish it up. Get a nice edge on there. Now, got to turn it inside out. See how it looks. Voila! Dress is done. It's a large, extra large dress on a extra small dress form. So, <laughs> it looks a little weird. Figure it looks like this, right? It'll be like more fitted right there. So it's got a band in the middle. I'm going to try this one on. See, uh, I don't know. Just around the lake, just wear it on the boat. Fun. The print. You find if I can find the right paint to actually add these paint scales in the middle of this would be pretty fun. You can actually add them right here and then connect the two layers. That could be pretty easy to do. Just depends on if the white paint blends in and looks just like that. I'll have to use it on a scrap of fabric to see how it looks. So I think I want to try that. All right, before I wear this, I'm going to paint it. <laughs> I decided to not just leave it uh, plain right here. I'm going to continue the paint right here. And I've drawn some uh, shapes with it, with the, the wax chalk that melts off. And uh, yeah, I'm just going to like elongate the design. Like this one is the fish. I just kind of drew in some fish, and I'm just going to paint with uh, this. This has uh, been through the mill. <laughs> it's a uh, tulip matte white paint. And I was practicing on a little scrap right here. And I think this will be a good match with that. So real simple. Just fill this in right here. And uh, then the dress, you'll really never know that this was elongated. Kind of cute. So I'm just going to paint in there. I'll show you how I'm going to do this. Okay, to paint this thing. <laughs> Just gonna continuous. Just did some chalk marks in here on uh, bringing these two pieces together. So I guess they were supposed to be that. I don't know what they were supposed to be, but I'm just gonna elongate it, and bring it together. I have a little bit here, and then in the back, I have. I'm gonna have a really long fish, <laughs> and uh, more of the scales, and then these curly Q things. So I think the fish is gonna take the longest to dry. I think I'll just start with this. And what I'm going to do is put cardboard underneath here between the layers. So I'll just be painting and then the paint won't get on there. I'm going to get that in there. Right there. Like that. Make sure it's on there. And then just uh, shake up this paint really good. And this one's by far the easiest. I'm going to start with that. And... Uh, I have a little scrap here I was practicing on right here. So I'm just gonna make sure. I'm just gonna, just gonna kind of dash, dash it like that and get it started. And um, just paint. Right there, I wonder if this is the front. Yeah, look, I always start right in the front. <laughs> I always like to start in the back because that's where you're gonna wear it. But this looks like the easiest one. I'm just gonna paint in. Try to make it look like it was blended in with that. Ta-da! Paint job is complete. That was really fun, actually. I don't know why I was waiting for on that, but I <laughs> wish I'd done this last year. could have been wearing this more. But I did the little chevron or whatever this is. I'm not even sure if these are supposed to be like scales or something. I don't know. The real fun part on here was the fish. The elongated fish. I had his head cut off here and a tail right there, and I just gave him a body. <laughs> it's really fun. Put the cardboard in there, sat down, and just kind of drew him out. It was really fun. I got the, the little reptile scales and uh, whatever these are, and I just followed the pattern and just filled it in. So, ta -da! I don't even know what this one is right here, but it's some kind of design. Really fun, um, fun graphic on this fabric and um it was fun to recreate it so look in your closet what can you save in there is there anything you can elongate you can cut in through the middle add a piece or even at the bottom is there anything that's got a graphic print that fabric paint would kind of you know fix because <laughs> it's really fun to fabric paint i i wish i would do more of it i gotta i think i need to do a whole skirt that's fabric painted hmm new project Anyway, so 
If you got anything valuable or learned anything in this video, give me a thumbs up and I'll see you in the next video.